Welcome back to Cryptolytics, giving you a fresh take on crypto analytics. Today, I'm going to show you how to bridge from the Solana ecosystem over to Cosmos. In particular, I'm going to be looking at Say, but you can do this for Kuji or whatever other chain it is that you're interested in. So let's get started with the process. Okay, so personally, I have been trying to bridge into the Cosmos ecosystem from Solana. Now, there's no direct way to do that while getting gas, right? So if you have an exchange where you can withdraw your say, for example, we're going to use say as the main example in this, but you can bridge while you're over in any Cosmos hub blockchain, you can swap between them pretty easily. But I was having a look around at ways to do this and there's nothing direct which allows you to convert to gas right? Because you need gas in order to perform transactions on the chain, right? So if your exchange allows you to withdraw, say, to the same network, then that's fine. But if you, like myself, don't have access to an exchange that allows for that, then I guess this tutorial is probably for you. If you've been airdropped a whole bunch of tokens and coins and stuff over on Solana ecosystem, and you want to bridge some of it across to explore the Cosmos hub, then I think this is the video for you. Again, it's not very straightforward. If you go to app.say.io forward slash bridge, as you can see on the screen here, you can actually bridge over USDC from Solana directly to Say, which is cool, but that's not overly helpful because if you do bridge that USDC, then how are you going to use the network? You need gas, right? So it's a bit of a loop. And in this example, you'll still need access to another chain as our sort of proxy in between. So I'm choosing to use Arbitrum because I have gas in Arbitrum and that's just Ethereum. And if you have an exchange that allows you to withdraw using the Arbitrum network as Ethereum, then in that case, that's what we're going to use as our sort of middleman, so to speak. So let's get started on this. The first place you're going to want to go to is swap.myn.finance. Any links that I use in this video will be in the description below. So you can check them out there if you need them. This will use wormhole in order to bridge to the Arbitrum network. Now, just remember there are some pretty hefty bridging fees sometimes. So just keep that in mind. One of the main reasons why I want to bridge to the Say network is some potential air farming over there, but also I really want to buy the Astroport token. And the only way to do that is on chain. So I plan on using the Say network to buy some of these assets that have exposure to Celestia and other such chains. So first we're going to select our wallets. I'm going to connect my Phantom and my MetaMask. So I'm going to bridge my USDC or at least part of it just for demonstration purposes. We'll just put in $40 for now into USDC.E, which is on the Arbitrum network. You can see I'm going to lose a fair bit, unfortunately, but this will just be the case for some of these sorts of things. You'll run into some bridging fees and all that sort of stuff. I don't know if this is a percentage or if what this is actually calculated by, but I'll work it out because I plan on bridging over about a thousand. USDC worth and always do small tests before bridging large amounts, right? You'll probably do something very similar, transfer a small amount, transaction will be pending, see the balances are reduced, so at least it's on its way. Also wormhole facilitates the swap, which is pretty good because remember that's a, another airdrop farm that people are going for at the moment. So by doing this, even by proxy, hopefully we'll get some points for the portal or wormhole airdrop. And as we can see now, the balance is updated here, right here, 3577. So that was successful. So all good. Next, we're going to test the next bridge and that is Squid Router. Again, link in the description below. So we're going to connect up our Arbitrum wallet. In this case, it's MetaMask. And you can actually bridge ETH from Solana to the Arbitrum network if you need gas. But I really recommend withdrawing it from an exchange because you'll save on bridging fees. Connect your wallet. Remember to use Squid V1 because V2 does not have the Cosmos ecosystem built into it. So you can see our balance is updated here, which is great. So I'm just going to spend all of it and I'm going to send that to my Say address. So you just click here, add address. Personally for Say, I was going to use Compass, but you can see here that Compass is not actually supported. So one thing you can do is use a, or set up a Kepler wallet and then import your keys for the Kepler wallet. When you create it, you get the seed phrase, import the seed phrase from your Kepler wallet into Compass. So the hope there is that 
if the balance is pulled into that wallet, then it should be okay. But we'll just do a quick test and see what happens, right? Always test with a small amount of capital with this sort of stuff because you don't know if it's going to work. So it will ask you if you wish to add the Say Network to your Kepler wallet. You just say yes. Also, it may request Osmosis as well. And in that case, you will add that as well. So I'm about to bridge $35 worth of USDC from the Arbitrum network to the Say Network into the Kepler wallet, right? You'll need to give permission for the bridge to use these tokens. So for MetaMask, it will ask you if it can use your USDC. I personally prefer doing these bridges when the market's a little bit bearish because that way I'm not getting crazy slippage and losing value by swapping around between stables and assets with price appreciation or depreciation. So it's kind of nice when you're in consolidation doing this sort of stuff or moving down because you start to buy the asset and you're kind of buying the dip at that point. So you'll get to this screen and it will ask you for permission or confirmation on the transaction. Your Kepler wallet should pop up after MetaMask. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see that the process is underway. You'll see that it states that it'll probably take about 30 minutes. Shouldn't take that long, but there is a chance that it will. So grab yourself a coffee. Maybe you can do this while you're watching a TV show or something. In the meantime, I just want to show a little infographic that basically puts into perspective what it is that we're doing right now. So we're starting off with the Solana ecosystem where we have most of our assets, at least in my case, that's where most of my assets are. We've bridged over to Arbitrum. Now you can also bridge to Base or Linear or Optimism. That's completely up to you. Again, you'll need gas on either of these, whichever one you decide to use in order to use it. So if you've got a bit of gas on Arbitrum, go for that. Linear, go for that. Probably avoid Ethereum because the gas is just extreme and we just always want to avoid Ethereum if we can. Using swap.mine.fine and then we're using the squid router to come over to the cosmos ecosystem so you can get to any one of these you've got celestia in there you've got cosmos itself i'll let you look up the list because it's pretty big these days we also got injective which i plan on checking out as well while i'm over here among many others but the main one i wanted is say and i'll be using the compass wallet another thing you can do when you're swapping if you just want to go straight to usdc on chain say if you want to keep what you've got in stables rather than buy say straight away just in case you're looking to buy the dip so to speak you can actually come in here and there's a little button here with a petrol bowser i guess that is and there's a little button here you can tick that says arrival gas so what that will do is that will swap some of that usdc for say in this case and just quickly if you want to make sure that you know if you did what i said before and you set up the careful wallet first and then you just restored that key into your compass wallet just come over to the say bridge that i mentioned before i think below and just check that this wallet that you've connected it ends in and starts the same so it'll start with say in this case but you see here it says 54 wtr for example and this was connected with compass but remember with squid router we connected with Kepler. and you can see here the connected wallet ends in wtr so that's how you know that they are the same so it means that whatever you do within kepler and you'll say compass wallet will be synchronized the assets in one will be visible in the other i think that just makes things a lot easier another site you can come to if you want to check the progress of your bridge is you come to say scan so say scan is the blockchain explorer for the say network and eventually once it's bridged you will see the transaction populate into this list. Now this is the first time I'm bridging with this particular wallet. So you can see like yourself, most likely, if this is the first time you're doing this, it will be empty. So you'll need to periodically refresh if you're checking to see the progress of the bridge. So if your bridge was successful, you'll see the money come into your soul scan. And also you'll see it within the various dApps like where you can stake and stuff like that. There's my 50 say right there. Now, if we come over to the official bridge, we can connect our wallets up and try and bridge straight from the Solana network over to the same network without that all that middleman process. Now we have gas, we shouldn't have any issues doing normal swaps. Going to do another test transaction of $50 out of the total that I wish to send. Just like last time, it can take up to 30 minutes. So again, requires a little patience. And while we're doing the test transactions, it's not so bad, but if you're bridging over a large amount of capital, then yeah, it can get a little bit nerve wracking at times, I must admit, but that worked. And there was no issues there, it was actually really quick. And you can confirm that just also by, well, checking your wallet or or going over to the SayScan app and you can see that's in there. We have our 50 USDC and our 
35 roughly dollars worth of say tokens now. So now I guess it's time to bridge the rest. Once you've done that, I recommend heading over to Astroport. Again, link below. Astroport has their own bridges as well. So if you want to get from say or wherever you went to, to anywhere else on the Cosmos ecosystem, just come here and you can see all of the places you can get to. You can get to Celestia, you can get to DYDX, Fetch, Kava, Kuji, Secret, if that's what you're into, or Neutron, etc. So whatever chain is taking your interest, you can come in through here. So you can do this whole say process if you just want to get into the Cosmos ecosystem, if you just want to follow my steps and then get into whatever it is that you want to get into after that through this bridge. They've also got liquidity pools and swaps, but the biggest thing I think that we're all really looking for is the next airdrop opportunity. So stay tuned and I will cover more airdropping opportunities on the Cosmos ecosystem very soon. But for now, we're in and we're all good to go. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it educational or helpful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you like the content, then you can subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you get updates when I release more videos. And if you want, you can leave a comment and let me know how you found the process. And if you have any issues, then you can also leave a comment below and I'll happily do my best to help you through. Bridging is always a bit of a process, I have to admit. I've been doing it for years. I was bridging between 13 different chains back in 2022. And at one point I had like 20K stuck in a bridge and I was absolutely sweating, but it came through in the end. I actually had the contact support for that one. But this is why you always should do these small test transactions first. Once you know that it works, then you can do the rest. So anyway, keep safe out there. This is Cryptolytics signing out. Have a good one.